OpenAI just dropped their agent builder and everybody's already calling it the death of NADN. I tried it, I think it's terrible, and honestly, it's not worth the hype. But here's the thing, that's not the update you should be excited about. The real announcement at Dev Day flew completely under the radar. And it's the one thing that could turn ChatGPT into the only app that we'll ever need. In this video, I'm gonna show you what it is, how to use it, and why I think this is gonna change the way we use ChatGPT. All right, so this is the new OpenAI agent builder that everybody's losing their mind about, saying it's gonna be an it in, Zapier, all of these things, but that's not what we're gonna focus on in this video. Instead, I'm gonna come into ChatGPT and show you an extremely practical release that they just added, and it's gonna change the way we use ChatGPT forever. Basically, if we come to ChatGPT and we click at, you can see we now have some of these different apps that are directly inside of ChatGPT. And stay with me, because this is really mind-blowing if you think about it. For example, what I could do is I could actually pull up Zillow here and basically interact with it as if I were, you know, interacting with ChatGPT and I could just basically say, help me find a house. So let's say, help me find a house to buy in Bend, Oregon for under, let's say $750,000. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna think through how to answer this, just like ChatGPT usually would, but bear with me because you could see now it's actually connecting to the app and this is where it gets really impactful. All right, so next up what we could see is ChatGPT is actually pulling up Zillow directly in our app. and this right here is something that we have not seen before. So you could see instead of me like having to go to Zillow and actually doing this myself, I could directly inside of ChatGPT begin looking at some of these houses and it will pull this up. You could see it expanded this window. I could even request a tour here. It shows everything that I would usually see inside of Zillow, but it's directly inside of ChatGPT. I don't even have to leave the app to use this. Then I could even ask some follow-up questions and say, actually look at ones above 1 million on the west side. Then what it's gonna do, it's actually going to find those listings that I'm looking for directly in our Zillow app. And it's not, and there's so many other apps that you could use, not just Zillow, and I'm gonna show you in this video. Just like that, we now have all of these homes in Bend that are listed for over $1 million. You could see, again, I could just look at all these listings without having to go to Zillow myself. I could just do this directly inside of ChatGPT. So now that we see the Zillow one in action, Action, we could actually go back and tag some of these other apps. So you could see we could actually use Figma, we could use Spotify. All right, so coming back into ChatGPT, I'm actually gonna go through and test out a couple of these different apps. So I'm gonna come to Spotify and let's just ask it a question about Spotify. Let's say, based on what you know about me, can you find me a podcast that you think I would find valuable that I could start listening to right now? So imagine this, imagine you're using ChatGPT and you're actually using it to actually generate playlists for you inside of the Spotify app. You can see it's pulling up the Spotify app here directly into ChatGPT. And look at this, it found the top podcasts that I would find interesting. And all these are right up my alley. I listened to the My First Million podcast. I listened to the Startup Ideas podcast. And the reason it knows this is because it has context of me inside of ChatGPT. Let's just go ahead and say, now I want you to create a playlist for me, for me to work with today. I want something like instrumental and inspiring. I don't want it to have any words because I don't want it to distract me. Send that off to ChatGPT and we're gonna have ChatGPT literally create a playlist for us instead of us having to go into the Spotify app. Boom, just like that. And let's see, I guess I can't listen to it directly inside of the ChatGPT app. It takes us there, but that's pretty cool. That's pretty crazy use case. All right, next up, let's actually go to Canva. Instead of me having to go into the actual Canva app in generating these different graphics, for example, or marketing material, I could just tag the Canva app inside of ChatGPT and then ask it to generate something for me directly in here. So let's just say, create for me a graphic to promote the Lumineers concert that is coming to Denver, Colorado. Create four different versions of this. All right, so I'm gonna give it that prompt. Let's take a look at how this is actually gonna work. All right, and just like that, about two minutes later, it actually created these graphics for me. Let me take a look at these. What I could actually do is I could click on these to see what they look like. I could even then ask it to make some changes here. The Lumineers Live, Night at Red Rocks. I never even said that was at Red Rocks. That's crazy, it was able to figure that out. What I could do, is I could actually open this in Canva. So if I click on open, it will open up this exact same graphic that it made inside of ChatGPT, and I can now begin making edits to this. All right, let's show one more use case here, and I'm actually gonna pull up the Expedia app. So again, all we need to do is click on at, and then select the app that we're wanting to use in ChatGPT. And my prompt is, help me find a flight from Denver to Redmond this Friday. Find the cheapest flight, please. 
I'm just gonna literally click send. It's gonna begin pulling up the Expedia app. And guys, I'm extremely impressed with how seamless this process is and how quickly it actually goes ahead and does this. Boom, just like that. That literally took like 10 seconds. You could see I now have all these options for the different flights for me to actually book. It has this cool widget for Expedia here. I could just click on this. It'll take me to Expedia and then I'll be able to book this. Guys, there we have it. That is the new ChatGPT apps feature. And I genuinely do think this is gonna change the game with how we use AI. This is open AI's way of trying to get us to stay inside of ChatGPT and make it the app for everything for us to use instead of having to go across the internet and use all these different apps and all of these different things. It might not be incredible right this second, but I could only imagine how powerful this is gonna be in the next coming months and coming years. If you guys made it to the end of this video, I wanna ask you if you could please subscribe to this YouTube channel. I cover all things AI for non-techies. I try to cut through the AI noise. So even if you're not technical, you could actually learn how to stay up to date in this quick moving world of AI. So if you got some value, leave a like, let me know what you think in the comments, subscribe to the channel. With that being said, guys, I appreciate you so much and I'll see you in the next video.